Okay, here we go. We're gonna blow dry the hair. Okay, what I'm gonna do with this is transfer this hair onto this barb doll. And well, here is the process coming. In. You get these nose clipper things. I don't know what they're called, but you grab it and you pull it out of the neck and it comes out with a little further things in the way. So here, tie the loop. See the loop. The loop, you put the hair to this loop. the loopy knot. You see that? There we go. So what Here's what I got so far. Where you split in the middle. Back to the needle and the thread of the hair. Removing the Barbie doll's hair. I like sweaters like this. <laughs> this marigold is really cool. And the other room is for guests. Okay, it's coming around. I tied the bottom, but it stuck it through. And there's so much I'm getting so far. It's gonna stop. This is what it's the idea, what it's kind of gonna look like on this orange. Okay, well, I got to the point where I think I can say I'm done, but. Make it put, get it wet with hot water and. Leave it in a ponytail to make it um, stay straight overnight if you wanted to. You can also blow dry it. You can put it in a ponytail. Hello, we're in my mommy's sewing kit um, place. What color should I get for this? Several palettes of colors. Tell style. It's really cool. So I'm going to go right ahead and go wrap with this around it and tie it in and out. Each time I tie it and tie it around. Dun 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 dun. Ta-da! And she is finished. Yes, she's finished. And her name is Jeanette. I totally, for sure. It's perfect. Yay. Cover girl. Thanks to the donor. Mm-hmm. She's a team player. On a tennis team. Oh, your hair looks fabulous. Thank you for um, transplanting your hair, uh, allowing my hair to be transplanted into my head. Oh, no problem. I have plenty. <laughs> awesome. Far out. Let's go play tennis. Let's go. Let's place supermodel photos. Click, click, click. Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Cover girl, cover girl, cover girl. Cover girl. Cover girl, cover girl. This is me wanting to make a cat shirt for and it seems and just me in general. <clears throat>
I got all the patches in the places that I want them. This is a, these are three shirts. I have. Okay, I have three shirts right here. This is a vest. I put the patches on wherever I want them. I'm getting this cut from here to here. And I'm going to put it in the middle of this shirt. This has beads on it. My mom doesn't like them. But I do. And I love me some turtlenecks. And this is the shirt that's underneath this. And I love velvet so much. Velvet is my favorite. But this design, this little geeky, dorky grandpa um, diamond pattern is so cute and cool. And it's totally random things. And I love cats. Cat patches are cute. So I'm putting them all on there. And that's what I want to do. My mommy is going to sew this on for me because she is really good at that. She is a Gemini and I'm a Pisces because of course. So I want these. This pattern. Like cut that in that shape and put it on this. Where's it at, Mom? Stay it. That slaying. And that slaying hammer. That'll do. That look like the hammer. Too, this one looks like it poke it enough to where to crack it. I think I could crack it in this one. And this is just laying it. Uh, yeah. And here's the other one. We need to get a rock and put it underneath the, the, where the edge should be and crack it on there. Crack, you need a weapon, to, a, a weapon from the gods to kill a gal. <laughs> what are we doing? You knock the pointy edge off. We're gonna get a sledgehammer and knock this off. Knock it off of here. Look. Take that one we did here. Here's the other hard work that's got to be done. Gotta bury all of these too. Dig and bury. That drop may pop off and hit that computer. Are you just that stupid? They did they not that right here. Uh. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a lifter. That very heavy. Uh, that ripped my That one ripped my hand. Man, you don't expose my butt. You do. No, don't step on that cooter now. <laughs> That's a spider, a real bad spider. That's very poisonous. Okay, let it down. Okay, let it down. Let it down. This thing is really heavy. Then you gotta bury it like so. 
No, exposure. This needs to be a little bit more. I don't know. This will be okay. Well, the, well, there's the one following it. We got the pink matching the pink. I'm doing a, a punch brewster. I've got black and white um, bags, trash bags around my shoes, so I won't get my hurdy lavender shoes dirty. That is something. See if we can find a bigger one over there, because he comes and gets them. Kitty, y'all working out today. I'm trying to make it look like this. It went buried with the rocks on the side of the side. We gotta lift it up. Make sure you can walk across it without a problem so the alligators won't get you. Is that too much of a, a reach? That's, I think these are all good. Can I get the big bad? I know I couldn't get it. I think the alligator got me. I don't think so. It ain't there. It ain't comfortable enough. You need to pull that back up there. You see what I'm saying? You need to put it up there. This one's all right. This one's all right. This one's all right. This one's all right. Not not gonna cut the. No, somebody can't get around to the rock. <laughs> Well, we're going to do this one first, right? No. We're going to see if we can get a bigger one over there. We're going to do this one. This one for sure. This one's a good one. Exposure to my shoe. My pretty little shoe. Mm -hmm. Figure it out. You have to give that, um, you have to give the... I'm going to put these in the middle, split in the middle, one side on the side of the side. The tapeworm medication, it says you have to wait 28 days until you want to give it to the dog again if it has it, if it still has any ring tapeworms. So, instead of every day, you know. Hopefully I cleared that up, but, um, yeah. And I finished half of the rocks already. Um, basically all of them, but I just the dirt over the rest of them, I guess. I put this, uh, clear yellow thing on it. Okay, so I'm gonna have... Red hair, an ethnic black Barbie with red hair. And I think that'd be pretty. And I'm gonna name her Jeanette. I think that's a good name for her. Anyways, y'all know anything about the seven way way um seven way um deworm and stuff? My dog. She's got the worms. She's got the paint worms. I saw them yesterday when I gave, groomed her. She's a Cancer, Scorpio, Rising, Moon, and Capricorn, and she did a good job. She's just so good. She's disciplined. She's 
Okay, she was born July 16th, 2019. Now it's March 28th, 2020. And that's what's going on. Well, what you do about this, it doesn't tell you nothing. It just gives you six of the um, tablet. And what this does is it paralyzes the tape worm and then the dog cracks it out. But it doesn't tell you how many times you do this. You take this, it lasts 30 days. And it doesn't tell you that, but I had to look it up. It lasts 30 days. So in 30 days, if she has any more tight worms, you notice anything, sometimes you can't even tell. Then you give her another one of these tablets. So, I have to give her that tablet and on the next 28th, I guess. April. But anyways, let's get back to the I was going to show you the tapeworm. When I found it, I was disgusted. I, I touched it and it was crawling on my finger. It was about this long. Like, what the hell? And then there was another one. I was going to... I actually didn't think about it at the time, but... I didn't think about it. I was going to show the camera and give you all the information about tapeworms, because... That's the subject people look up, you know? People look up the subject of that, figure out what they're going to do about their scary dog. Also, you could give your dog garlic for three weeks to help get rid of the tapeworms if you need to. If you if the stores are closed, the pet store, pet guy got mine at Petco or whatever, you know, the emergency, you got to do it on your own. Give the dog garlic every day for three weeks. Apparently, it's supposed to help get rid of that uh, tapeworms. But yeah, those tapeworms can be um, given to humans too. Humans can catch tapeworms from the animals. You don't want that. Scariness. Unless you want to lose weight. Here, I'm getting this little piece from that. Sometimes I get two each. Two of the little ones that are already in the hole. I think I'm going to try two of them each. I think I'll try that. So what I do is get this night tool and I pop this one out. Pop two of them out. Put them together. I like to. I like to. Yeah. Because it'd be too thin, it needs to have two. I like to twist it around, get it together. Then I chop it at the root. Then I can lick it or you dip it in a cup of water, whatever you need to do. Because. You know, you don't want to smell like spit. But I just brush my teeth. And then, you get that sucker in the hole. And voila. You need one of these nate tails that are knitting needles or something like that. Whatever it's called. And you also need these nose clips. These nose things. I think they're nose clippers. They're not. I don't know what they're called. But. They pinch it. I don't know what they're called. And you also do. I have to do a Britney Spears on this doll first. I tried the head. I put this head on this ball of tea. It was the one that came with this cool. See through. Yellow plastic. Okay Janet. We're going to do Britney Spears. I like this uh, little yellow pointy tail. So I'm going to probably use that for, you know, stick it through one of these pieces of hair and give it her ponytail. Well, what you do, and I broke the neck in there, so it's going to be hard. I have to dig it out or put it in hot blown water when I was twisting the head off. What you gotta do is give her a pretty Spears haircut, shavings it, 
Are you gonna shave that head? Okay, come on, I'm ready for you to move these rocks. So I you just soaked her head in the pot bowl and walked her earlier to get that neck loose instead of having it super glued and I twisted it off and it's all stuck in there and I have to soak it in hot water. You want to trade bodies, you know. So I think this what you do with this side you tie a little knot loop, a little loopy knot. See what I'm saying? A little loopy knot. <laughs> this is how you rewrite a baby doll's hair. I rewrite and customize and like Donald Harvey or any kind of doll's hair. Then you just tie that knot on there. Make sure it's gonna be tight. Pull that through and bam, it stays. And you continuously to keep on going. So you have a full head of hair. Next. Okay, so we got this side. Now we have a new hair. A new fitness needle. Yep, naming it Jeanette. There we go. I think, where is it stuck on? I don't know. Just pull, pull, pull. Look how much I'm getting. It's looking awesome. Super cool, super cool, super cool. This is. I grab the needle, I point it to two little sections of the hair, put it in between, oh, there's some already pulled out, okay, there we go, if you can see that, I get two sections out of the hair, as you, if you can tell, if there is two Grab them. And if you want to grab a thick amount, it's okay for some spots on the head. Like if it has a big hole. Like this is three sections, so and you make it a little thinner because the thicker it is, it can be way too thick. So let's see. Rerooting the Barbie dolls here. Alright, we have several. I'm going to in here and 